Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, welcome to our 10th week on the road to Emmaus. Bishop Earl Boyer of Lansing here. It's so very good to have you here with, with me. For two months, we have been walking together through the most holy sacrifice of the Mass. Every week, I've issued a communication, just like this one, containing catechesis, inspiration, and a challenge. This week, however, our challenge is a little different. This week, we will take a pause and refocus on a challenge that we've already done over the past four weeks. This is something we'll do every fifth week. Why is that a good thing to do? Because in the interior life, a virtue is an acquired good habit, and acquiring good habits requires repetition. Hence, you can either further reflect upon Eucharistic Prayer 3 and all it unfolds to us regarding Christ's sacrifice to the Father on the cross out of love for you and me, or you can frequent the Sacrament of Reconciliation this week, or if you like, do both. Okay, that's our challenge taken care of. We've also had quite a bit of catechesis in recent weeks, so now it's time for some inspiration. 18-year-old Barna Hadvani is a young man from Budapest in Hungary. Barna didn't grow up Catholic and perhaps not surprisingly had little awareness of the Holy Eucharist. That all changed, however, when Barna came to school last year at Father Gabriel Richard High School in Ann Arbor. Here's his story. My name is Borna. I am from Budapest, Hungary. I lived there for 17 years and I recently moved to the United States one year ago in August. I go to school at FGR, Father Gabriel Richards Ann Arbor. This is my first year here. I'm a senior and I am about to graduate. And this year has been an exponential growth for me spiritually. I was baptized when I was six years old, um, but I didn't grow up in a Christian household. I didn't read my Bible. I didn't pray that much. I prayed sometimes, but I didn't know to who to pray. I didn't know if there is Jesus or Holy Spirit or the Father. But then uh, last year, 2022, I started to dig deeper into the faith. God has helped me so much in my life and answered so many prayers. And I saw, I witnessed multiple things in the school and uh, outside of school as well. And I could actually feel and I did the research, I did the historical, I searched for historical evidence and I read the Bible. So I got certain about it and I truly believe in it. Today is going to be the first day when I'm going to receive the Eucharist, so it's, going to, it's a big day for me. To be honest with you, I never actually believed in the Eucharist and the, I mean the presence of Jesus Christ there until we had this senior retreat and there was adoration. It was a very peaceful environment, very, very good. And I felt safe, I felt loved, I felt good. And then I was just looking at the Eucharist and I, I was praying to God to show himself to me because I told him, I don't understand this Eucharist. I don't really believe in it. If, if this is actually real and Jesus is here, then show me signs. And there was a girl in front of the Eucharist and all of a sudden her hair started to like fly around. And then I started to feel like wind blow next to my face and my ears. And then I experienced this peace I never experienced before. And this, my heart was filled with love. And uh, I actually said, hmm, this, this is interesting. Maybe this is actually real, let me pray about it. So I prayed about it. And I also asked God a question that I have been praying for a month before, but I never got an answer. And then it was, a, it was about my purpose. And then and there I, could clearly hear God's voice talking to me and he answered my question. So that was kind of the changing point for me. Barna, of your own free will, you have asked to be received into the full communion of the Catholic Church. You have made your decision after careful thought under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Paul, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.
body of Christ. Barna, congratulations, bro. I am so proud of you. Welcome to the table of the Lord, man.